October 1st was the date set by the finance ministry as the date for implementing a 28% uniform duty on online money gaming and casinos. Now, according to a notification, a non-resident taxable person, a person required to deduct tax at source, a person required to collect tax at source and a person supplying online information and database access or retrieval services from a place outside India to a non-taxable online recipient or a person supplying online money gaming from a place outside India to a person in India shall have to apply for registration and declare PAN. A popular meme going around on the internet suggests that the government has been able to do what most parents wouldn't, that is, deterring youngsters from overtly indulging in online games. Of course, the matter is much more uh, complex and detailed than just that. But what does all this mean for the gaming companies? This is something which was put in perspective by Aditya Shah, COO of India Plays, which is an online gaming platform. The online gaming industry in India witnessed a seismic shift on July 11, 2023, as the implementation of a 28% goods and services tax GST on the full face value shook its rapidly growing landscape. Regardless of whether online games are skill-based or chance-based, the GST Council has decided to treat them all equally. This means that skill-based gaming companies will be subject to the same high tax rate as chance-based gaming companies, which is unfair and could stifle innovation in the industry. This step has been met with widespread criticism from the industry, who argue that it will be a major setback for its growth. Rather, this move will make online gaming more expensive for gamers and could lead to a decline in the number of players. However, the government had previously taken positive steps to support the gaming industry. This latest move threatens to impede growth and hinder the progress of over 1300 gaming startups in India. Now with these steps just being implemented in time on uh, October 1st, we will be able to see the kind of impact it actually has on the industry and if other changes are implemented uh, going forward. But what are your views on this? Is the implementation of 28% GST on these uh, online gaming platforms, is it necessary? Is it important? Was it the right step? Is there any other thing which should or could have been done? Um, and what kind of impact is this really going to have? Do let us know in the comment section below.